Hey Virgo, welcome to your first half of October reading. I'm bringing you a general reading for the collective of Virgo Sun and Rising. May not resonate with everyone, that's okay. So either take what speaks to you and leave the rest, or you could try watching the reading that aligns with the rising or um, sun sign of your divine counterpart. Be a cross watcher, okay? Also, the readings are not date or time specific unless I make a special announcement about it. So I just put first half of the month or second half of the month so you know approximately when it was conducted and published. Um, but, you know, like I like to say, whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it's likely your message, okay? So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you will consider joining us and subscribing. And for those who are returning, Big love, Virgo. Big love. Okay, I'm pulling two cards, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine from Energy Oracle. They both came out in reverse, so I will be consulting the guidebook. Um, masculine gets six chakra, Archangel Metatron, card number 40. The zero being a little extra angel protection there, um, but it reduces to a four. It is about stability, building foundations. But let's see what the reverse message is. Um, it says, this card reversed admonishes you to get clear. You may have been lost in confusion and had unclear or distorted thinking. But even if this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time, your lack of personal direction can be turned around. Take off the blinders and widen your perspective. Visualize the life you want to live and the person you want to be and make that your intention. It's time to break out of the old toxic thought patterns. Oh, I love this for the masculine. Whether they be habits of worry, doubt, or self-criticism. It's also time to develop a clearer, healthier vision of how you perceive yourself and what you want your daily life to look, daily life to look like. Know that you are in charge of making it so. Meditate on Metatron's strong presence in your brow center and see a beautiful indigo light spinning there. Affirm that you are creating a new clarity and sense of direction. You have all the power you need to create a strong personal vision that will guide you on your path. Make that a priority now. Okay. So definitely a lot of six chakra um, energy around vision, um, seeing, um, clear, clear vision, clear communication, clear sight. I like that for the masculine. I feel like last, the last reading Virgo, um, there was a lot of lack of clarity within the connection felt confused. Um, I remember feeling the energy of the Eight of Pentacles, you know, really focusing on creative solutions to the problem. So that may be what you need to focus on. Feminine gets the thinking woman. How appropriate, Virgo. <laughs> but it came out in reverse. Oh my God. This card reversed could represent a difficult time for your own personal growth. Well, yep, completely aligned there, okay? You may be feeling confused. What, was we, what were we just saying for the masculine? You may be feeling confused about your personal purpose or disconnected from your heart's true path. Look within and open up to your own inner guidance, right? Your own inner guidance. That is the hermit and the high priestess. Trust your intuition about what you need to learn in order to move on. The thinking woman reversed could also indicate a woman who is misleading you or giving you misinformation of some sort. So be aware and set boundaries. Remember, your own spirit is always your best guide. Perfect. So for those of you who might have a friend or somebody that, you know, um, isn't quite on their own path, um, or can't relate to what you're experiencing. So just remember, be your own guide. But for most of you, these two are very aligned. Um, very similar energies around confusion of your purpose, your path, your vision. 
I know. I get it. <laughs> okay, so I'm pulling one card just for the Virgos watching from Sacred Traveler. I love this deck. Hmm, solitude. In silence, peace prevails. I like that card. It makes me, I feel a couple different things. Um, I do think of the hermit when I think of solitude because of the, um, yeah, it's a little reclusive, but it's more of an, a retreat inward. I also think of the two of swords. Yeah, quieting the mind to get the clarity, to find the peace, you know, shutting out all the noise. So we'll see what comes through for you. Let's check out your connections. Ooh, come on, Virgo. Let's see what wants to come through. Virgo, Sun, and Rising. Twin Flame Soulmate Energies. For Virgo, Sun, and Rising. Okay. Oof. Hope this finds you well. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. little silence in the hanged man too so we have the emperor and the hanged man this is how you're each showing up masculine feminine remember you can always reverse the energies if need be it is a general reading for the collective so sometimes for some of you the storylines come through reversed no worries um, emperor aries energy pisces and the hanged man that i just tell you that because sometimes it helps people to know they look at their chart and they are reviewing the pl planetary placement. So that's the main thing. Um, Emperor is about divine masculine energy. It's also about personal control. It's about jumping in the driver's seat of one's own life. Exactly what was coming through here with the sixth chakra. The vision is clear, but it's also about taking action. Whereas the hanged man does not take action. There is like a self-imposed delay. It's being in a state, a state of limbo, of stasis. And sometimes it's self-imposed and other times it's what's going on around that forces you to pull back and try to look at the situation from what I like to say is the 30,000 foot view to find your clarity, the enlightenment. So eh, we'll see what's going on here. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Oh my God. Oh my God, this reading already. <laughs> go. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> there's no mistaking what we got going on here. Past life soulmates, two of cups, twin soulmates. There's um, a lot of love here. I love that I'm looking at the divine masculine and their present experience of this connection is about the soulmate. It's really nice energy, Virgo. This, this masculine is really feeling the connection. Now, something's coming up in the future. Um, they will persevere. Uh, this is not there any time for them to give up, but it will seem like it's an arduous journey. There's something here that in the future is coming down the pike that may present a challenge, um, an obstacle, and the perseverance is what's important to note about it. There's no quit in this card. You'll want to give up, but you don't. Feminine in the past. Oh, yeah, I know it. Well, <laughs> Nine of Swords, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, the running everything on a loop in your brain. Um, but right now, there's an interesting energy for the feminine hanged man and the lovers now the lovers represents gemini energy so we have pisces gemini here but the the lovers card is a card of choice it is a card of union and does often represent you know twin flame soulmate union being protected and guided but it's also about choosing and i'm feeling this feminine sort of pulling back and not making the choice just yet or on some level feeling delayed 
like they are not able to make that choice because they're in some status of you know hanging in limbo literally but look at the future knight of cups someone coming toward this feminine with love with their heart wide open um, on their sleeve look what's on the bottom <laughs> i can't even make it up oh virgo emperor please divine masculine what say you solitude that solitude card not just the um our card of the hermit but high priestess as well wow masculine endings and new beginnings this masculine is feeling his freedom and ready to um i feel like a, it's a fresh start in this connection an end of a chapter closing out of one chapter maybe some closure comes in beginning of something new I'll pick one more. Wow. Wish granted. Wish granted. The star. So we have Aquarian energy uh, with Capricorn in the world. Aquarian energy in the star. And this is what they've been waiting for. Hoping for. Wishing for. In the past. Six of cups. Past life soulmate. Can be from your youth or childhood or just someone from your past. Oh my God, cannot, cannot make it up. <laughs> I really don't want to cry in this reading. Okay, Six of Cups with the Empress. I get emotional, Virgo, you know that. Um, yeah, this masculine has recent, I feel this is recent, has recently become crystal clear on who this feminine is. I'm not sure, um, for some of you, I'm not even sure that if you're the feminine that you're even aware of it yet. I just, oh my God. <laughs> this <really made> me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd say that they are very clear on what they want and who this feminine is. The happily ever after with their divine feminine. Now, this is the past energy. This could be yesterday for all we know. It could be years ago. Um, but right now, right now, taking action, jumping in the driver's seat in the energy of the divine masculine with regard to this connection, with regard to the soulmate, brand new, turning the page, um, beginning a new cycle. It is a wish granted. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, like I should have looked on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'll take it. Virgo right there. So that leads me to believe the Virgos, the feminine. For most of you, that will be the case. Unbelievable. Thank God the air conditioner just kicked on. I'm in a flop sweat. Oh boy, okay. So we do have... A little danger here um, tower notice I don't speak when I'm confused Wow this is what's coming down this devil has shown up in past readings Virgo um, Capricorn energy Aries in the tower Capricorn in the devil I actually feel that that's what's coming down is the toxicity um, possibly uh, the karmic nature to the to either this connection or some karmic energy that's been present between you or um, has come between you does that make sense so I, I'm, I gotta give you a wide berth here for some of you this toxicity is between you like in the connection for others of you it's what comes between you is this um dark energy can be shadow energy uh, of this masculine can be sh both of your shadow energies um like operating from your id instead of your ego or super ego it can uh, i just feel it's coming down i feel that's what's being moved out of the way um it feels dramatic but it doesn't feel unexpected Usually that tower kind of comes out of the blue. I'm not feeling that. 
and it's been coming up for masculine energy in almost all the first half readings I've done so far this month, which has only been a week. Um, I feel that I, I feel a lot of um, tower energy coming from the masculine has been by design, either by taking specific actions that they know will lead to, <laughs> to like their reckoning or by not taking action. So, you know, sometimes we know if I don't do this, I know that down the road, I'm going to pay for it. Or if I do this thing down the road, I'm going to pay for it. There's an awareness here. I feel, and it's been coming out for general masculine energy. Look what's on the bottom. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Underneath, new beginning, a new beginning, something grounded and stable and abundant. Um, the tower is, I feel it's by design. That devil energy is being moved out of the way, whatever it is. For some, I mean, let me run through what the devil can be. It doesn't have to be anything sinister. It can just be a toxic behavior. It can just be a repeating pattern between you. It can be a toxic other, a karmic other. It can be a dependency, an addiction, an obsession. It can be control freakism. Hello. <laughs> Right, whatever that devil represents in your connection on the masculine side or on this side of the reading, that is what's being moved out of the way. And I don't feel that it's shock and awe. I feel it's on some level, it's by design. And underneath the motivation for those who are new, and I pull from underneath the deck as I did um, last minute with that. Nine of Pentacles, what it represents is the motivating behavior, something that's not quite in conscious awareness, but it's there. And it it's like when you do stuff and you go, why am I doing that? Why do I keep doing that? It's all the cards underneath tell that story. So underneath is this Ace of Pentacles, what's getting this masculine through, the reason why they're not going to quit or give up, what's getting them through this tower moment and the release of that toxic devil energy is the belief that they are going to have this new beginning. The world and the Ace of Pentacles feel very similar to me, right? This feels very similar. Um, what they're going for here is a reset, a new beginning with this feminine. I know I have repeated myself at least four times, but... On some level, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Nine of Wands, my goodness. Hmm, they're not going to give up here. Persevering until they get some clarity and message. Um, possibly checking up on you via, well, on you, on the feminine here. Um, social media, this can be texting, it can be direct messaging it can be something you see in a feed or on somebody's it feels like social media to me i feel like the page of swords is some information or clarity that this masculine will persevere until they get it page of swords is like the detective of the tarot so i'm not feeling creepy energy here there's that eight of pentacles from the last time uh, this is about getting the clarity um and remaining focused on the creative solution to the problems that exist here, whatever that is. Um, yeah, sustained effort, focused attention. Mm. And underneath, they're ready for their ships to come in. Manifestation. But I do feel to some degree that this page of swords is, a, is an important factor. I know it's just a page, but I still have felt resistance on the part of the masculine in your, in your readings here, Virgo, for a while. Um, them being stuck, not really resistant, but kind of just um, not able to kind of fully move forward. I see a lot of movement here. And then that little page of swords as they're waiting for some clarity, a sign. You know, kind of keeping tabs, focused. This is a, this is like this is becoming like a full time job to them here with this Eight of Pentacles. I love that. Hanged man. All right, feminine, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. Just gave me chills. Hanged man with the, t 
right? There's a delay on this life partnership. There is a delay on it. Um, some, you know, hanging in limbo, kind of waiting for the enlightenment, connecting to your higher self, your spiritual team, but sort of almost waiting for that, waiting for it to drop in. And, and it's kind of as if it puts your life on hold a bit here or the prospects of life partnership in this connection. So that's what's on hold. Um, and that's causing some confusion, some emotional overwhelm. Some of you may be wondering if it's all just a fantasy. Like, am, am I just hallucinating this whole thing? Right? I mean, look at the darn card. We got disembodied heads in cups. We got a religious figure covered in a sheet. We got a snake. We got a dragon. Like, what the heck is this? It's the stuff nightmares are made of, quite frankly. Nine of Swords. So we know there's confusion and overwhelm and um, delay on the, on, on, <laughs> right? Oh, the Nine of Swords with the Six of Cups. This has been painful for both of you. Um, I'm so glad to see, though, the masculine very clear and coming in loud and clear. I know what I am. I know who I am in this connection. I know who it's all about. Feminine still in the past has been sweating it out here over the past life soulmate. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. I love this card coming through in the past position, temperance. It was about self-control and restraint and patience and giving time and space to allow for some flow for the two, for both of your energies to come to room temperature. And I'm literally using that, you know, baking metaphor. That's think of temperance when you temper eggs or you temper chocolate. You, come on. Am I the only one who knows that baking term? I don't even bake well. <laughs> Even I know that term, but I, I just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a Virgo, so it's getting to me. Um, yeah, the stress and the overwhelm on the past life soulmate, the patience, the, um, the tempering your energy, the self-restraint, the self-control, all, all motivated by this masculine, right? Knowing on some, this has been hard. Hello, it's been hard. Oh. And now, right, the choice, the lovers. A card of union. Queen of Pentacles. There's a little more Earth energy there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles, though, as you know, I like to say, to me represents a feminine archetype of the life partner. Pentacles is 3D. It's in the here and now. So it is about being there, being stable, grounded, showing up for the other, for your, for your counterpart every day, having their back, being a committed life partner. So there's something here. Oh, God, yep. The Taurus energy and the Hierophant underneath, this is about commitment. That's what the choice is about. It is about your beliefs, your belief system, sure, but this is a desire that this, oh my God, a hair just fell on my face. I know you all think like I'm a hot mess today. It's okay. Just throw me a bone today. Um, the Hierophant, it's, committed conventional relationship in the 3d and i feel as if this feminine is is um working through that it is a choice of the lover of the partner of the twin um and whether that union will go that distance and i feel like that's what the delay is with the ten of pentacles is a card of life partnership building a life with someone and it's all on hold right now that's the feeling and the feminine's energy is like, am I just hallucinating this whole thing? Um, and in the future, Knight of Cups. Yep. 
You are not hallucinating it. And this masculine will come wide open emotionally, very romantically, um, for second chances in this connection. This is about answering the call of the connection. Um, it is, to me, the judgment card, it's more Scorpio energy, but it comes after the um, death card, right? The transformation is complete. And then as the sun comes up, so rises your second chance at life, whatever that means to you. In these, relate, in these connections, it does represent past life soulmate of the twin flame variety. So I feel that this masculine returns um, very, very uh, seven of... Seven of um, Wands tells me there may be some resistance. One more on that, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there may be resistance here, dear feminine, uh, because of either third party energy for some of you or not wanting to get, you know, pushing back, not wanting to get your heart broken again. So that's why I'm saying this is coming in. It will, prov it will be second chances and an opportunity for forgiveness will you take it there seems to be a little pushback here um and i feel that that makes sense to me because we do have the nine of uh, wands so this masculine will will persist will persevere will not give up will wait for that message of clarity to, they will either deliver it or they will um wait for it to focus on creative solutions to your problems here to all that went down wow 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 Ooh. yeah and i like that the king of swords is underneath um, that to me is all about the energy of someone who has high integrity, character, honesty. They want to do things the right way. These are people that live by a code. So this feels very chivalrous, like coming in, ready to communicate openly, truthfully, from high vibration, character, um, and integrity. So it, even though it's a little cool, you know, King of Swords, a little cool. Um, I feel that if that that will help you push pack push past your own resistance if you are here as the feminine. So yeah, you may have some questions for them. Okay, Virgo. I don't even know how we're gonna go on, but let's do it. The link to the extended is in the first or second sentence in the drop down description box below this video. I'm gonna pull a card, as you know, for. The most important thing right now, something you, you need to focus on about the connection, the block, the challenge, or the dynamic between you about that situation and what you can either do about it or expect to come from it. As always, I love to have you communicate with each other, so I pull cards and clarifiers around your messages to and from each other along with a card just for you, Virgo, from your higher self, spirit of the universe. Those are very authentic messages from your spiritual team. Can often be a warning, something to be on the lookout for, guidance, a pep talk, whatever is needed at the time is what comes through. And then the outcome card and what you can expect going forward and in what time frame, if timing is a factor, it would show up there. Oh my gosh. So let's do it. I am so glad to be here. I look forward to seeing you in a second at the extended or on a future reading. Take care, Virgo. This is really nice.